Richardson. I'm a Sapphire Ambassador with Plexus Worldwide and I wanted to put together a business building tip video. I feel like I um, get asked a lot the same questions and so I thought if I could put all the answers in one place that could possibly be helpful to all of you. So I was just going to take a time, take some time to um, sit down and go over some of these tips I've kind of discovered along the way for um, after doing this for 20 months. So here it goes. Okay, so the first thing we're going to deal with is Facebook posts um, and just some Facebook 411. Some of you know some of this, maybe you don't, maybe you know all of it, you can skip ahead. Um, so the thing to remember with Facebook is if you haven't been on Facebook prior to Plexus or you're um, on it but not on it, you know, posting and stuff, it may take some time for traction to build up, meaning for, for Facebook to see that you're on it, that you're interacting with other people, that they, because obviously we don't see all of our friends post every single day. So Facebook kind of goes in there and determines who to show what to, meaning showing up on your newsfeed. Um, and so that's kind of part of it. When you start interacting with your friends, then Facebook says like, oh, well, they want to see your stuff and I'll show them and vice versa. So just know that. Don't don't freak out if the first week of Plexus posts, no one, you know, you don't have a door, a, a line outside your door. Um, some things to remember about posting on Facebook. There are three kinds of posts you want to do every single day. Plexus post. The most powerful Plexus post, in my opinion, are before and afters. You want to download the picture to your computer if you can, upload it as your own uploaded picture, and copy and paste the text. The reason why is when you just share a picture to your audience, it shows, I just shared something someone else posted. The info with that picture is grayed out at the bottom. So much less effective than when you share it, you put at the top like, this, this means so much to me. I love seeing people get healthy, whatever. And then you copy and paste what they said in their picture. It shows up to your audience in such a different way. And normally people are, will stop and read those as opposed to shared ones. Now, if you see one and you're just like, I don't have, I'm not on my computer and this is amazing, share it. I'm not saying never, but just try not to make that your only way of posting on Facebook about Plexus. Um, the other one is personal post. Don't start using Facebook as a business building tool and that's all you do. Now, what do I mean by that? Yes, it's a business building tool, but in order to make it an effective one, you've got to interact with your audience. You've got to um, still be a person and not just a business. So the people who are your friends and family, who are your Facebook friends and family prior to Plexus, they still want to know about you and your life. And don't forget to add that. If you didn't do that before, start doing it now. It's important to make your Facebook post well-rounded. Um, and then the last is interactive post. So an example of an interactive post is if you put on there, which is better, Sam's or Costco. I need to get a new wash and dryer. What do you recommend? Top loader, front loader. Um, I'm traveling to San Diego next week. What are some places I should see? What are some great restaurants to eat at? Things that get your audience to interact with you and hopefully get your non plexus audience to comment. Because then again, Facebook says, oh, they want to see each other's information and then they will more than likely put your post on their news feeds. Um, that's it about Facebook. I think most of you know a lot of that, but I just wanted to highlight on some of the, the big stuff. So on to the next one. Okay. So the next question I get asked a lot is how do you talk to people when you're out and about? What do you say? How do you strike up those conversations? Normally I answer that like this. I've always talked to people. So for you, if that's not your normal, you may just have to work up to just talking to people. But let's just say, for example, you're comfortable talking to people when you're out and about. Still do that. You still talk to people. And what I have found is people tell you what they need. People want to share. If you really show a genuine interest in them and it's not just a, you know, hi, but if you really start and talk to, talking to them, they want to share with you. And so what I mean by that is you may have a a waitress or a waiter at a restaurant and every time they come to the table, they, <sighs> no, they may not. But I've had people who show you through their body language, they're exhausted. And then you can start a conversation about that. Then that can lead into sharing about Plexus products. Or um, people, I've had people share about their allergies. If they're sitting there and coughing and sneezing and trying to check you out at the, at the cash register and you're like, Are you, you know, is it allergies? Are they bad? That can kind of start a conversation. And here's all you have to say. Have you heard of Plexus? They will say, as they always do, what's Plexus? And you're like, well, actually, 
It helps to balance, it's an all natural plant-based drink, not a meal replacement, that helps to balance blood sugar. The company also added gut health products and it has been my experience and I've been blown away with what those two areas of the body affect when they are fixed. Blood sugar, gut health. I would love to share more with you about it. I have some testimonies of people with name whatever it is they just shared with you they're struggling with. So here's how you do at that moment. Hand them your phone and say, you want to find yourself on Facebook? Have them find themselves on Facebook. Friend request them. And then say, I'm going to add you to a testimonies page if that's okay. And that way you can read about the testimonies. And I'll send you some information. I'll, I'll send you a Facebook message later and get your email address and send you some information. That's it. Start the relationship. Start that ball rolling. Um, here's what not to do. Okay. What did you say? What's Plexus? Plexus was started about four years ago. It was ranked um, fastest growing company, the eighth fastest growing company um, by Inc. 500. We grew by 16,473% last year. We were developed for type 2 diabetes to help control blood sugar. Um, it's helped me tremendously. My moods are better. I have balanced hormones and I've lost weight. Um, my website is www.andyrich.myplexusproducts.com. Go there, click, click join or click shop, whatever you want to do, it doesn't matter. Um, and then order what you want. I suggest Triplex to everyone. And it's really amazing. It's changed my life. I love it so much. Um, do you want to order right now? Okay, so obviously I'm being silly and that was kind of my fun way of saying, don't feel like you've got to say it all, get all the details right, get all these facts right, don't pull out an index card and try to read from it. Just be you. Share your truth and be genuine and that reads with people. Now, when I say share your truth, here's something I want to caution you. Get outside yourself. Hear other people and what their needs are and meet them at their needs. So definitely have your story and be passionate about sharing it. But um, if you meet a 60 year old man, uh, heart disease, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, then don't do this. Did you say you have high blood pressure and cholesterol? Well, oh my gosh, Plexus can help you with that. Let me tell you about myself. I used to have horrible mood swings, horrible. My PMS was terrible. I just wanted to hurt people that time of the month. You know what I mean? I was so, so angry all the time. And Plexus changed everything, okay? So I think it would totally help with your cholesterol and blood pressure. Really, it really, really would. You wanna try? You may say, I have some testimonies I would love to share with you of other men who have had XYZ results. And this is what it's done for me and I'm just passionate about it. Do you see the difference? If you just write, if you make it about them, not about you. That's what I'm trying to say there. Um, let me see if I have anything else on the out and about stuff. I hope I've answered your question on that. I hope that's helped. Um, just start the conversation. Ask them to Facebook friend you. Share a small bit with what Plexus is. The delivery is more about your passion and, and how much you really care to share with them something that you feel like would help them. And it's changed your life. Start it there. Then let them see your Facebook post for a day or two. I'm not like that evening go in. It was great meeting you. I would love to send you some testimonies about what you said you struggle with. Um, please let me know any questions you have and then send them an in info email and then follow up. And just that's how you kind of get to that point of developing a relationship. Um, okay, I think that's it on Out and About. So on to the next one. Okay, so the next thing I get asked about is how do you do garage sale pages? What's the secret there? So I've learned a lot of kind of do's and don'ts with garage sale pages. I'm still learning and I'm sure everyone that uses them could write a book. Here's what I've learned to be the most effective post. Myself. Now, someone else may listen to this and be like, oh, I don't agree. This is just me. Do with it what you want. For me, I have found giving away a free sample to be the most effective um, way to get interaction on garage sale pages where they don't know you, people are more guarded. So here's some um, do's and don'ts on that. What you want to do is you want to post a small little blurb about Plexus, some great, two or three great before and after pictures, and offer a free sample. What they've got to do to get the free sample is they have to comment on that post that they're interested. Okay? What that does is that'll bump your post every time someone comments to the top. Because normally those garage sale pages are full, and people don't typically go in and just scroll the garage sale pages. They just kind of whatever pops up on their newsfeed. 
So you're typically only getting the few people that see it the minute you post. So it's more effective if you can get it to be bumped. Some pages don't allow that, but if they do, then ask them to comment so it bumps it to the top. When they comment they're interested, send them a private message, let them know that you're gonna send them a friend request because you'd like to add them to the testimonies page and ask for their email and give them a quick little blurb. You know, Flexus is an all natural plant-based, control blood sugar, can help with energy, lipid levels, you know the rest. Small, don't give them a book at this point. Just introduce and ask for their um, shipping address. This is kind of what I did in the business. I, in the beginning, I mean, I don't do a lot of this as much anymore, but in the beginning, when I was really trying to grow my business, I did a lot of this. I would even get in my car around in the local garage sale pages and I would go drive around and like hang the little bags of samples with a card that said, thanks for your interest in Plexus and my business card on people's doors. Um, I did a lot of that. I also went and got some cheap cards from Hobby Lobby that were blank on the inside and I wrote, thanks for your interest in Plexus, my name, business cards, sample, put it in the mail. So what happens in those two to three days that they're waiting on that sample to come is they're seeing testimonies in the testimonies page, they're seeing posts on your page. And so it kind of gives you a great um, foundation to build on when they finally get that sample to start talking to them because they've seen some validation coming through um, on your newsfeed. So some don'ts on those. Know how much you can handle giving away. Um, I had an ambassador one time, you know who you are. I had an ambassador one time, we both crack up about it now, but it was her first time to ever post like this. I told her how to post. I never had this happen, so I didn't know to warn her. And it was like hundreds of people later. Like I was freaking out about how many samples she would have to send out. So obviously you can always say I'm out of samples. I mean, you're allowed to say that. You can say I only have 10 to give away. You can word that however you want, but don't feel like you could get stuck in a position where you're giving away more than you could handle giving away. Know going in how many you want to give away. The rest just look as prospects. Let them know they can order from your website. Um, free shipping, three day trial, 1195. So just keep that in mind on um, going into it that you don't get in over your head with giving away free samples. The other thing to watch for with that that I've learned as well is kind of know the um, the demographics of your page. I've had pages where I post the free sample and for as many as I've given out, the ratio of how many convert to customer ambassador were worth the investment of the free samples, meaning let's say two out of ten, whatever. You know, I, I've had a good response and people who are truly interested and and capable of making those decisions. I've also done, typically those are moms of pages. Like oh, those pages tend to be a little bit better with this kind of stuff. Not always, just saying typically. Pages that haven't worked out as well are the ones that are just ginormous and cover like five counties and all kinds of demographics and socioeconomic levels. And sometimes you put the word free in there and you've got 16 year olds going, yeah, I'll send you something. And those don't always convert over as well. So it's your risk to take and just go into it knowing, you know, sometimes you just kind of have to play with it to learn which pages are, have a group of people that are truly interested in, in wanting to better their health and can afford the products. So yeah, I think that's all I've got on the garage sale sites. Mm. Yeah, that's it. What? What now? What? Blocking you. Deleting it. What? Just healthy eating and exercise. You don't know what I've been through. Okay, the next thing I had was people ask me, um, what do you recommend? What products do you recommend? So in the beginning, I was a slim and accelerator girl. I had high PV, not a lot of ambassadors. It was my comfort area, and I know it's a comfort area for a lot of people, and it's a 60-day money-back guarantee. It's not as complicated as explaining the probiotic and the bio-cleanse and die-off. Um, but what I would suggest there and recommend is, well, what happened with me was once I learned about the probiotic, our probiofi, once I experienced the results of the triplex. There's really not anybody I don't suggest being on the triplex anymore, but that is always the first place I go is triplex, always. There may be a few unique situations where if there's been some nerve damage and we look at those products or there's some um, 
issues with pain and we look at those products. But other than that, it is down the center triplex. So that's all I had on what products do I recommend? Um, yeah, I got nothing on this one. I got nothing. Okay, last thing, and then I'll wrap this up, but this is kind of, um, this is a hard one to kind of put into words and to, to make sure I convey it in the right way, because I really do, I really want everyone to get this. So much growth happens with this, this process of growing your Plexus business, just personal growth. And when I say what I'm about to say, know that I had to go through this too. And this isn't a big deal, so I know I'm making it sound way heavier than it is, but roll with me. So when you start growing your team, you're going to have different personalities um, join underneath you. I remember in the beginning, if someone on my team, an ambassador to me, would get on the, the big, I would get on one of our big pages and ask a question that would be like something I should have taught them. And I know I did. And then I'm like, oh, everyone's going to think, you know, who's that person's ambassador or sponsor? Now I've done this long enough to know that people just learn differently. And some people needed to have their questions answered that way. And some people do great one-on-one. -on -one. Some people enjoy the group. And it's not a personal reflection of me. Um, so that's one part of this. The, the, the title of this is just leave your ego at the door. And I had to do it myself. The other part of that underneath the umbrella of leave your ego at the door is um, people will gel with different people. Like I have people join underneath me and we may be completely different. And I think, oh, I'm gonna, I wanna make sure I'm taking care of everybody. I feel such a sense of responsibility. But they connect better with someone else, maybe on another team or in my upline. As long as that person is happy and their needs are being met, and they are growing and, um, yeah, they're growing and their business is doing good, that's okay. That's, that's what our community is about. That's what I love about the support of our team is everyone's desire to help each other out. And that's why someone else comes to me from another place and says, like, I really identify with your style, with how you do things. I don't, I, I gladly help them because I know there'll be people who don't identify with me, who are under me on, on my team, and they may go to someone else. And I would hope they would give them that same um, respect. So I guess I'm just trying to say is, if the goal is always to put the other person first in everything we do, whether it be the business or as a customer and what products and, and how to tell them to buy. But if you always put the other person first, then I think you're gonna win in the end. I think you'll feel better about what, what will come from your business. So just keep that in mind that sometimes it's not personal. It really is people just connect and, and gel with different people and different styles. And that's completely fine. That's, that's okay. Um, anyway. So that's all I have. I hope you learned something. I hope I put some info out there that was um, helpful to you. This is just some stuff I've learned. Um, I've been doing this for 20 months. I've said um too many times. Uh. Anyway, thanks guys. Appreciate it. Hope you all have a great day.